Hello everyone, welcome to Comfy Channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to upload an avatar to your VR chat through Unity. And it's a really simple process actually. So follow along. First, you want to go to the VR chat SDK guide page. Go to Google, type in VR chat space SDK. Click on the first link and you'll be right in there. Second, you want to download Unity. Click on this link right under requirements and find the current version of Unity. Now don't mistake in this with the latest version because this is not the latest version. Unity 2018 April 20th F1. This is the version you want and the one that VRChat SDK is compatible with. Click on this to be linked right to there. And you see it is this version. Now you want to go to correct platform. I'm using Windows and click on Unity Editor to download it. I've already downloaded the setup file so I'm going to cancel it and I have it right here. Double click it to start the installation process. Click yes to allow permissions. Click next. Click accept. Read it of course. Press next, next, and keep going next until the installation process starts. And that might take about five to 10 minutes depending on your computer speed. I'm gonna cancel since I've already have it installed, but your last process in this should be finished. And this shortcut should pop up right up on your desktop, right over here. Unity 2018, April 20th, F1. It should match the version that you downloaded it or whatever VRChat recommends when you watch this tutorial. Next, you want to actually go and grab the SDK. All right, let's go ahead and grab it. Go back two times to the main page on the VRChat guide. Now, click VRChat SDK under requirements and click choosing your SDK. Now, you want to be aware right now, as of July 2020, there's two SDKs. SDK2 and SDK3. Right now, avatars aren't supported in SDK3, so you don't want that. Okay, let's click on here and it'll guide you to the VRChat portal. You want to log into your VRChat account and then you'll go to the page to download. Right now, we're on the downloads page, but if you're not, click on download and then download SDK2. And we already have the file pre downloaded right here. All right, let's start up Unity. You want to create a new project. Press new. Name the project any project name you want. I'm going to name mine Avatar Tutorial. Any location you want. 3D for template. And press create. All right, so the Unity project has been created. You'll see the similar screen as mine. Okay. Now let's import VRChat SDK2. You could double click it to import it or you can drag it into the assets folder. This will pop up import Unity package. It'll show you everything that's inside the package. Press import and give it a second. Okay, once the import is complete, this VRChat SDK splash screen would pop right up and it just shows you the latest changes and news to VRChat SDK. You can close that for now. Next, you want to make sure your account is capable of uploading avatars. So click on VRChat SDK under Unity menu, and click Show Control Panel. Click on Sign In, enter your details, of course, and this is under Authentication. And then under Avatar Creator Status, it should show Allow to Publish Avatars. If it doesn't show, you might be still a visitor in VRChat and you need to put a few hours in, maybe make new friends, and then you'll be a a new user and that will allow you to publish avatars. So you can go ahead and close that now. Next, we're going to go ahead and find a new avatar to import. Let's see. I usually go to vrcmods.com, but you can also go to booth.pm and buy an avatar. Okay. So I pre-chosen Lime Gumi as the avatar I want to import. Now it's important to view the description cuz it'll tell you additional things you might need before you can install the avatar. So here, the creator was kind enough to let us know that dynamic bones are needed and also cube shaders, but they didn't give us a link to them. But no problem, we can just Google it. So for dynamic bones, we go here with Google dynamic bones dot unity package. This is important. That way it'll allow you to find it way faster and easier. So let's just go to the second one since the first one seems like it's still at a price for sale. Go here and click download 1.21 and I have it pre-downloaded. Next, let's see, what do we need? Cube shaders. Okay, we can do that. Go here, 
cubeshaders.unity package on Google. Let's try the first one. Let's look for it. And yes, it's right here. And I also have that pre-downloaded. So, okay. What if we're on booth? Hmm. Let's see. It's all in Japanese though. Well, we can still use Google Translate for that. So we copy all this, put into Google Translate, Japanese to English. Oh, looky here. It says art shaders are needed, but it's already included. But we need dynamic bones. It's necessary to install that. So we can go ahead and find it for that. So either booth.pm VRC mods, creators will usually tell you what is needed to use their avatar. Alrighty, let's import cube shaders and dynamic bones into the VRC project. Okay, drag and drop dynamic bones into the assets and press import. And that's done. Sometimes the splash screen will pop right back up again for some reason, but you can just go ahead and close it. Next, cube shaders. Press import. And we're done with that too. Now we can finally download Lime Gumi. So go ahead and download and download the Unity package. And we actually have it pre downloaded right here as well. So let's go ahead back to Unity. Same process drag and drop into assets or double click. Press import. And I know this is a big avatar, so it's going to take a long time to import. Sometimes it might seem like it's stuck, but actually it's just a really big file. Like right now, this FBX is going to take a while. Alrighty, Lime Goonies import process has finally finished. So let's get her into the scene. Go to assets, go to Lime Goomy folder, and you can find her scene right here. Double click it and she'll pop right into the scene. To move around, use your middle mouse button. You can scroll forward to go zoom in, scroll back to zoom out, press down to go left, right, up, down. This is all on the middle mouse button. And then if you want to rotate, right mouse button, hold down, and then you can go left and right. Now what happens if the avatar creator did not give you this scene? Then you'll need to make a new scene for it. So I'll show you how to get that done, just in case the avatar creator did not create a scene for you. Now you can skip through this if they've made the scene for you. I'll go to new scene. Now this is a new scene. You do want to delete the main camera. We won't be needing that. You want to make sure you have a directional light. I noticed actually for that lime gumi, she did not have directional light. So if you don't have this, you'll see a black avatar when you go to the preview area, which would not look good. Okay. Find the FBX file and you'll see the preview of her. So limegumi.fbx, drag it right into here. Okay. Now click on lime gumi. Nope. You don't want to remain it. Press left click, go to the right, go to inspector, go to add component. Now you want to type in VRC underscore avatar. And then you'll find the VRTAR, VRC avatar descriptor. So click on that and this will populate. Now, if you've imported your avatar with the provided Lime Gumi scene, this might be pre-populated. If it is, go ahead and detach that because it's still attached to the previous creator's account and they forgot to detach it. And if you upload it, you'll get an error because you don't have access to their account. But this is empty, so that's fine. All right, the lip sync default, you wanna auto detect all the lips. So press this and then it'll auto detect and attach them all on. If it doesn't auto detect, you'll need to go and select these sill to sill manually, PP, PP to man manually, FF to FF manually, and so on, but it auto detects. So that's good. Now we want to get the expressions in. So we want to go here in custom standing animation and find the override. So go here, press this and press this little button here and look like the avatar creator provided us an override. He may override right here. So let's press this. Okay. Now you want to make sure that you press the correct override. looks like there is a custom override here and that belonged to the VR chat examples, which would not work. So this is the one that avatar creator provided under Lumi, Lime Gumi animation. So that's the correct one. Now, if you can't find the Lime override, that means the avatar creator did not give you the pre animations file for the facial expressions. So the avatar has no facial expressions. I can show in a later tutorial on how to get those create facial expressions created if the avatar supports facial movements. All right, last but not least, Let's correct the viewing position. The viewing position is this area in the VR chat avatar descriptor. 
Now you want to look for this little gray ball. This gray ball is where the eyes will be viewing from, whether you're using a VR chat headset or you're playing on VRC PC. If the ball is too on, close to the feet, you'll be viewing out of the feet, which would be very odd. The eyes should be the place you're viewing out from. So let's move this gray little ball. All right, let's position it so we can get a 90 degree angle. Okay, now we have a straight angle of our eyes. So let's adjust this. If we do 1.7, it goes too high. So let's do 1.5, goes down, 1.4, a bit too low. I usually like placing it in between our eyes. So let's see, 0.45, 0.46. I like 1.46, it's right in the middle, down, in between the eyes. Okay, now we gotta place this ball in our head. Okay, so let's use the right mouse button to get this ball in a good viewing position. Now this is the Z position you need to correct. 0.3, it makes it go out further, so we don't want that. How about 0.1? 0.1, I think it went inside her head, but I can't see where. Oh, looks like it's ripe. <laughs> it's just sticking right out. Looks like she has a huge mole on her face. Um, let's do it a little bit far back, maybe um, 0.5. Oh, that's a bit too far back. How about 0.7, 0.8? Okay, 0.08 looks good to me. And you're probably asking, so am I going to be seeing her skin? If I'm viewing out from her head, no, it won't. It's fine. When you view out, it'll just be like you're viewing out from her eyes. So the skin layer is not going to be blocking you. All right, we're done here. Let's do our last checks. So let's go around here and make sure all the textures have loaded properly. If the textures have not loaded properly, they'll be pink around her or black. And that means you don't have something imported. Maybe a shader is missing or the avatar creator did not tell you something and Maybe they forgot to tell you that they used another shader and then you need to go on hide and seek to find the shader, which is not fun. All right, we're done here. Let's save the scene. This is still untitled. As mentioned, if you use the one provided, you do not need to save the scene since it's already provided for you. Let's save this as gloomy scene. Okay, we're done. Now let's upload this to VR chat. Go to VRChat SDK menu, click Show Control Panel. And then you want to go to Builder. And look, there's a few things they want us to correct. So let's go ahead and correct this. Looks like Auto Light Map Generation needs to be disabled. So let's press Auto Fix. And it looks like it has disabled it for us. So you don't need to press this and just exit out of it. Now it looks like there's some skin mesh issues. So let's go ahead and Auto Fix that. If you don't, you won't be able to hit Publish. So let's click auto fix. And this might take a bit, but just be patient. Alrighty, it didn't take that long and it's done. Now the build and publish for Windows has appeared, so we can now press it. Now it's preparing the Unity package for import into VR chat. Alrighty, that's done. We're almost there. If you go here, you can see the new avatar menu. Now you can go here and you can name your avatar. I'm going to name mine New Gumi. And if you're not able to press here, make sure you're not paused and you have the play button here pressed. Now I don't like this profile picture. This show this T pose. I want something a bit more relatable. So let's press this little camera here and I'll show the preview of what's to come. And then you can press this and then zoom in on her face. And this is more like a friendly profile picture and not like a robotic T pose. Alrighty, position this correctly. Now I can go back to the second tab game and it looks much more friendly. You can type a description here. I just type my first avatar. And then for sharing, you can click private or public. If it's private, someone won't be able to duplicate it. If it's public, someone can. So if you want to share the avatar, um, click public. Next, press this that you have consent to upload the avatar. And if you have any warnings here, you can check them as well. All right, click upload and this will take a bit, but just be patient. It'll be done in a few minutes. Alrighty, we are done with the upload. It says VR chat SDK update complete. Launch VR chat to see your upload content. 
All right, before we do that, to check up on our avatar, I want to go over a few things. Let's drag this down, click on Lime Gumi. Let's close this, actually. Let's see, the Blueprint ID you can see now is populated as it wasn't before. This is the Blueprint ID assigned to your new avatar. So from now on, if you upload any changes to your avatar, it will replace the current avatar that you upload. So let's say you want to save this avatar and maybe you want a version with sunglasses or something and you don't want it, you don't want it to replace the normal version. You would click detach so VRChat will assign it a new Blueprint ID. And then if you want to update it, you'd have to go and grab the old Blueprint ID. So how do you do that? Go to VRChat SDK, show control panel, go to content manager, and you'll see multiple versions right here. And you can copy the ID of the ver old version, click detach, and then attach it to another version of Gumi. That way you have multiple versions of her that you can use in VRChat. And here you can also make avatars public and private at will. And you can also delete some avatars if they crowd up your space. All right, so let's go ahead and view this avatar. We just created Gumi. Let's delete these old ones. And let's start up VRChat. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our uploaded Gumi avatar. Okay, let's go over here, press mirror, and toggle the mirror in our avatar testing world. Press escape, go to avatar, and select new Gumi. This is the avatar we just created. Press change and give it a second. She pops right up. Let's test our expressions. Shift F1, Shift F2. She's angry, Shift F3, happy. Shift F5, shocked. Shift F6, Shift F7, Shift F8. It looks like all our expressions work. If our expressions don't work, you might be missing something in the override for the standing animation override. And you'll need to go and fix that. Otherwise, maybe the avatar creator didn't even provide one for you. So you'll go ahead and go to a tutorial I'll be making in the future, and I'll be showing you how to do that. Otherwise, congratulations. You have uploaded your first avatar. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. I'll be making a few more tutorials after this to show you how to add some profile pictures and maybe some accessories for a Gumi. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching, and take care. Bye now.